Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. And it is a gift from Mike. Let's go into ideas and thoughts about this chapter before we go on. My thoughts on the chapter, I was actually, um, I was reading the chapter um, while I was on the phone with Karina. So she got the like actual factuals. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. And my reactions, um, I, of course, you know, Mike getting his uh, gift was um, very hilarious. And telling Karina, I was like, man. For that to happen to him and for it to happen in Rose City, where everybody know everybody, I'm like, somebody saw that shit. Like, somebody, they gonna go home. And he's like a prominent person too. So, um, yeah, my, oh, and um, it kind of, it's kind of touching on the last episode. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't able to be there, but um, with the last episode and this, um, chance is toxic. Is, is that a word? His, to he's that talk. Oh. oh, his toxicity is coming out. Yeah. Yes, yes, a lot. Like in a kind of negative way. I was telling Karina, I was like, "Oh, I'm rooting for Chan and Malia," but Chance seemed crazy. <laughs> Like, you know, he's going to be probably giving her the business a couple chapters later or some mess. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Now, you know how I feel about my muscle wrestle. But I don't know if I'm a team Chan anymore. Yeah, my muscle wrestle. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I'm the same way, Alicia. I, I I, as much as I love Chan and I hope he works out with Malia, like, I know he's going to break my heart down. I mean, Malia's heart down the road, you know, so. I, yeah, like, <laughs> this ain't my story. So, newsflash, M Malia is really Monica. <laughs> yes, he is going to break our hearts down the road. So, I'm just like, you know, I've had to pull back from everybody. I'm just here for a good storyline, you know? So <laughs> I support the storyline. Um, and I'm here for any chapter that Mike gets that work because he needs it hand over fist over foot because his parents didn't do it. So Rose City needs to do it. So I am here for it. Um, and I loved... Uh, my favorite part in the chapter was when uh, Erica flashed that missing tooth. It was given uh, Krishan. Is that is her name? Krishan Rock. When she'd be walking around with that missing tooth, like it's cute. Like I just fell out at that part. <laughs> I was like, "Yes, baby, never forget this fight." <laughs> Girl, I forgot that shit. That was funny as hell. <laughs> And um, I forgot even about that. Even just like last night, I, I did. I, I was like, when her, when her tooth was missing, like, and she was on a video call. So I was like, you, you have bruises on your face from where you got work the night before. So it's like, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Um, what were my thoughts on this chapter? This chapter was, it was good because I feel like we all have experienced some buttholes in our lives where you want to see them kind of just get that work. You know, you're like, I want you to see you put me through. I want you to see like how you have trampled on my heart. And now somebody's going to trample on that A, you know what I mean? And it, and it's the new guy, honey. It's the new boo, honey. He, I mean, not like Malia wanted it, but Chan is Chan, baby. He's going to do what he want to do, baby. Uh, uh, Kyrie said she wanted it. She wanted him to get that work. So, um, yeah, it was, it was very entertaining. Um, but it was crazy that Erica and Mike have been working together. Remember, that was kind of like a question um, in the beginning chapters of, you know, of information coming out, trying to figure out like, like who has been like this little songbird to, to Mike, who's given him the deeds on Malia's life and who all that situation interested in, in him and all of that stuff or, um, you know, just kind of like, how does he know so much? And now people do talk and he does talk to her mom. 
and her grandmother. But we also wondered, could Erica possibly be somebody who he was talking to? And now it's coming out that she and him have been part of like at least he wanted to say something but um yeah mike ended up getting my address from erica and flowers and i don't even know why like mike felt like he had to really go through her because he ended up having erica like send the flowers and all of that stuff and so i was just like again you 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 claim that like you want this woman back you claim that malia is just like my one and only and i made this big mistake but there's absolutely no effort being put into like getting her back. You know, he didn't even order the flowers himself. Yeah, you, you called her nemesis and asked her to order some flowers. Like, what if she's allergic to like orchids or something like that? And then somebody sends her some orchids. You know, it's like Erica would have known the information. What if she doesn't like milk chocolate? Maybe she's a dark chocolate person, right? And then she didn't got you some some milk chocolate. So you, you know, you're sabotaging yourself here by, by the wrong person for assistance. So yeah. Anyway, any more thoughts before we go on to questions? Oh, let me just, I don't know if I've done this. Usually I try to just explain to the viewer what's going on here. Um, what happened was Mike is finally getting what he deserves. He has set up this whole romantic date for him and Malia. And the last chapter, Malia has a knock on the door, a delivery of candy and flowers and saying that Mike had planned a beautiful date for them to go to Fogo de Chao. How in the hell hell are you planning dinner dates for me? And I get like a three to four hour notice. I wasn't texted. I wasn't called. There was no confirmation. But here Mike is now at the restaurant. He is sitting there. The place is packed. He's looking real good in his new suit, you know, freshly fed, beard been trimmed. Like he's giving the his car is very strong. He's body, you know what I mean? But he's sitting at an empty table. He thought Malia was going to show up to this dinner date. And he gets a surprise, folks. It wasn't Malia who showed up. Chan sent them boys. We've been talking about, you know, who's breaking some of that work and everything. Like we've been talking about it, right? Chan decides, I'm going to send some people in place of Malia and they're going to do what you need. Surprise, very publicly, might I add. So that's what happens here. You want to go and take it away. Right. Our first question today says, when Malia finds out what Chan did to Mike, what do you think her reaction will be? Do you think she will break off with him or do you think she will stay? This is not a breakable offense. Like, come on now. Um, I think part of her will be uh, slightly amused, but of course we're in Rosie and Malia was raised in this reserved you know, community and background. So she's not going to show that side to Chan at first. You know, she's going to be like, oh, well, you know, why did you do that? You didn't have to do that. I have Mike under control. Play that whole role, you know. Um, but I don't think she's going to, she's going to uh, break it off with him. And then she's going to give Chan one side, that more reserved answer. And then she's going to call her girls, Wendy and Eva, and be like, guess what this Nick did, you know, and then they gonna have a good laugh about it. <laughs> so I think that's what her approach is going to be. What are your thoughts, Lily? Oh, busy. I was trying to unmute my thing. I kept hitting it. Okay. That's okay, Satan. Um, I don't think she'll break I don't I don't think she'll break it off with him. Um, but she will definitely I think it might scare her a little bit. Like, hold on, you did what? And then she's gonna put the pieces together. Like, oh, okay, yeah, this Nick turned off my phone. It's never died before, you know, um, when I'm home by myself, but he's here, the phone is off, and um just kind of 
you know, going off that a little bit, I actually think that if he, um, if she did actually, you know, get that invite and talk to him, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm on the tail end of a cold here. Um, I think she probably would have showed up. You know, she she would have cussed them out. No, what? What? Da, 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 da. Okay, fine. I'll see you in a little bit. I, you got five minutes, you know. Um, and so, anyway, that was just going down the rabbit hole. But her reaction, I think she'll be surprised. Like, oh, you did what? And then, like, Kyrie said, slightly amused. Like, okay. Like, you know, Karina earlier, the new boo took care of him, you know. Um, you know, her, her make-believe boyfriend, remember, he was saying that she had a fake boyfriend and shit. <laughs> so, um, but I don't think she'll break it off with him. She'll she'll stay, but she going to start putting pieces together. Like, hold on. Um, this guy might be, you know, dangerous. So. Great. So, sorry, ladies. Um, my mom was calling. And so I knew if I didn't answer the phone, she's calling. So I, so I pick up the phone. I'm letting her just hear. And then I hear her say, "Oh, so y'all on that podcast? <laughs> yes, ma'am. We're doing the podcast. Girl, swinging on it. Remember, she said we just be swinging that hair. <laughs> Got that pod carrot. <laughs> yeah, so she be listening, and she's all." Okay, so uh, I'll call back an hour and a half because I need um, you to order some groceries for me. I said, okay. And I'm like, okay. And she's just like, you know, because I gave somebody $20 to go to the store and pick up a few things for me. And uh, it didn't even happen. And I'm tired of asking people. And I know I'll call. I'm thinking, lady, it's going to be my turn in a second. And you just go on about these groceries. But anyway, that was my piece from Tacoma. She would call her daughter and say she needs um, an online grocery order place yeah, after the I've podcast. Told oh, her. I've um, shown her so many times how to do it. it, it, it Miss Kitty, if you watch this episode, if you don't order them groceries, I don't show you don't too many. Yeah, that's what it is. Anywhere. Right. <laughs> how to do it a number of times she like I, I just get confused if you <laughs> forgot um let me go look good number time you need it with that oh you got that <laughs> confusion huh <laughs> says when malia finds out chanted to mike what do you think she well first off that mike is going to blow up you gonna be like, how dare you spend this? Do this to me. Really is going to um, act up, and I think Malia's initial reaction is gonna be absolutely not. Mike, what type of shenanigans are you playing with? Like, why would Chan, this scrumptious-looking man, um, who's doing very well for himself, why would he be out sending people to beat people up? I mean, it seems kind of like, you know what I mean, like, well, you're different than send some so some of the football players over to beat up somebody. <laughs> like, and her initial reaction will be, I don't believe this. Like, this doesn't sound right. Like, he's a businessman and he's sexy as hell. And he got money. He's like, why would he be doing that? But not knowing, baby. Like, don't let that good suit and that and that nice Austin Martin, you know what I'm saying? And then them coins fool you. He is in the triad. Uh, organized crime, baby. He's a whole gangster, right? But Malia, I think her initial reaction will be to believe it. I think down the road, as more things start to happen, the pieces will start to come together, and she might even realize, well, wait a minute. If you have assaulted Mike, and maybe you've done a few other things that is being pinned on you, like, I think it might all start to come together. Because let's be honest, ladies, when you like a man, I'm talking about when you really, 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 really like somebody. You be doing everything in your heart to protect. No, no, because see, you just don't understand him. And, and he was raised different. And his mother wasn't supportive and his daddy wasn't there. Um, nobody showed him how to be a man. He's an old anger that he needs to have it, you know, released. And I'm working on that in several ways, honey. Several. Okay, so yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we're working on it. Okay. Spiritual things. We're we're praying, Alicia. You said Chris about to go out on the rabbit hole. I won't. I won't. Um, we're praying. We're doing coping mechanisms. We're talking about it. You know, we're getting into some therapy. But we love to protect the men that we love. You know, it's almost like that bad kid who is just acted up and you just, you want to make an excuse. No, not him. All the signs are pointing to the is a killer and you don't care. You know, not that you don't care, but it's just hard to believe that my dream guy would be out whooping my daddy and uh, ex-boyfriend, anybody else. Would be. So I think that Malia is going and um, act like it didn't happen or be like, no, because he said that his friends happened to be at the restaurant and y'all bumped into each other and there were words exchanged, but there was no physical, you know, until somebody pulls out their phone, like, no, because it went viral. He got his ass worked. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> uh, it says, do we think that Malia, I think by the time Malia figures out Chan really is, it might be able to slip away. Because when you realize that you have been entertaining a whole psychopath, Working up may not be an option at this point. Because if you work my daddy, if you've been working my been working other people in the streets, am I gonna get that work? And not in the way I want? Like, so I think that by the time, yeah, by the time <laughs> I said it, like, okay, I I told God this morning in prayer, I said, I'm not gonna go on there and act up today. I'm gonna control myself a little bit. I feel like it's trying to it's trying to bubble up, but I'm I'm suppressing. We don't need to know all that. Um, so I think by the time she figures out he's dangerous, yeah, she might be like, "Ooh, he got some 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 tendencies about himself." So if she'll be able to leave, you know, maybe she might want to. But again, it's that God, women are so naive. So I can work with them, you know. I'm I'm, I'm gonna take them to the throne room of Jesus, and I'm gonna take them to church, and we're gonna talk to the pastor about this. And you got to get yourself together because I'm not gonna let the person getting their legs. Like, what what is this? You know, naive, naive. You know, we we want to talk you through it. I just you know, I just think he needs somebody, you know, because he just he needs a softer side. He needs more of a gentle approach. You're with a a trained assassin. I don't care how many cookies you bake. I don't care how soft that pillow is. Man is a problem and he enjoys what he does. So I think by the time Malia figures out who he is, she might want to leave. But I don't know if she'll go, you know? Question for Alicia, unless y'all want to ask something. Leave now, even if she wanted to. I mean, let's just face the facts, okay? She ain't going nowhere. I mean, it don't matter how she's going. She just doesn't remember. You know, and Chan is such a smooth talker. Right. No matter what she says, it's going to be like, oh, well, you know, yes, I did send my men to go talk to him, but, you know, they uh, they felt threatened, so they had to take it to the next level. You know how Mike can be. I mean, I, I mean, Chan can easily talk himself out of that situation. You know, regardless of what the video shows, it wasn't Chan himself doing it. So, you know, he's going to get away with this one. You know, so. Right. <laughs> right. But she's. She's, she she's even if she tried to run she can't remember um he not only is he gonna have her but he's gonna love her or frank's about to get you know the business he gonna be put six feet under if she don't love him till death do us part so, baby yeah <laughs> even if she wanted to go she, she wouldn't uh, i mean she couldn't not wouldn't she couldn't chan ain't having none of that <laughs> Karina's talking about, am I going to get that work? Can you imagine him having Malia hanging from some <laughs> in some garage? That's why I was looking like that. I was like, I'm praying I not. Was <laughs> like, Lord, be a fence. Oh, big daddy, all that. <laughs> all that. Uh, all of it. Okay. You, 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 hmm. Praise God. Praise God. We are children of God, ladies. Mm-hmm. Amen. <laughs>